So let's see what Ehome will ban here as the first pick is going their way. So we'll see if it's the Kunko or not. I, I am focusing on this Kunko a lot just because both teams really do love that hero. It is definitely their mids most played heroes. Or it's their mids, plural, uh, most played hero for like r the recent chunk of time with DPL, H Cup, and all that. So both teams using a lot of reserve time, and they ban the razor. They don't want to be up against that razor again, despite it being in a different lane. If it were to get picked up. And they go Bristle. So we saw this yesterday. We saw the Bristle back get picked. Bristle coming in here. As it did win the previous game for Ehome. And it was placed in the safe lane, I believe, with a mid Monkey King. The draft from yesterday when they did that was Lion Undying Beastmaster. Monkey King and the Bristleback, which did really well against the IG. The question becomes, is the same going to be able to get said here against a good team like Vici? So again, quite a bit on the line for DPL. The winner of this goes to MDL Macau, and Jakiro gets picked up by Vici into the OD. They'll go for Ehome, not letting another ban phase come between them and this OD. An OD Bristleback Tusk is here for Ehome, a very stellar lineup. Ehome really remaining. looking to stop that win streak from Vici and DPL, uh, you know, remaining. all DPL play. Dire team back. And there's the puck coming out for Ori for the side of Vici. So final picks will be an off lane for Ehome unless they throw the Dazzle in the off lane. And it will be a safe laner for Vici. They've got Lockdown with the Jakiro's Ice Path, Telekinesis, Hoof Stomp, as well as the Puck and the Dream Coil. We'll see what they want to pick up last year for Vici up against the OD and the Bristle. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Uh, so there's the pick. tiny ban, which I actually do really like. Tiny, we've we've seen tinies just take over games. They get blink dagger, and that's like that. That's it. Like they're just not, uh, that's it. The tiny gets blink dagger. He blows up supports, gets too big, and then teams start to focus him. He's so tanky. And they're Ten unable to finish him remaining. off. And, and then that's just it. Tiny takes over. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Three left. And Legion. Now select your heroes. So Legion OD Bristle. That's a mid Legion and off lane OD. And a safe lane Bristle with a safe lane Luna, mid puck, five position Jakiro, four position Fade Rubik, and Yang on the Centaur. And this will be Tian Ming on the t onto the Dazzle as they'll give him a chance on the Dazzle. So that's turning it into a four position Dazzle and a five position Tusk. Wow, that was not the direction I was expecting with this draft. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. This is... This is gonna be nuts. 
We'll see if Vici can keep the streak alive. Ehome can even it up and force out four games at least in this best of five. Vici with a win here will be riding momentum in a game three. Possibly looking for the sweep and keeping their, well, keeping their uh, streak alive. For you guys just joining us, it is MDO Macau on the line. Which I took a look at the venue for that. Because I was curious. It's a tournament in China. That's the dream, to get to land in China. And it looks really cool. If you look it up. The Galaxy Macau. Cool place. Not going to forget to use the overlay this time. Or remove the overlay. As well, we'll get ready to go into this game. Game 2 between Vici and Ehome. And here we go. See if I can time this right. Early. Yeah, early. Close. But no cigar. So TMing going over to the bottom lane here with Faith Beyond. And it will be a mid legion up against this puck and bristle in the safe lane with three mangoes six tangos he'll be joined here by the tusk who will have tag team for him i assume level one go back to that e-home lineup yesterday where they did win it was the bristle and undying lane that was just atrocious to watch the decays coming through with the quills that is a hard lane to just stand and posture in. So four heroes nearby for the side of Vici. So they'll send the Luna over bottom. We'll see how Paparazzi does with this. Luna without, say, uh, you know, a Shadow Demon or a Drow. You're dealing with a straightforward, just a Luna with um, no advantages. Postom comes out with a dual breath. That's due on Ego. He might end up being first blood and will be. So that's a good way to take over in this lane by getting a kill onto the Bristleback. They'll look over as Tusk will grab the bounty rune. Ends up being three for one, but first blood in the favor of Vici. DY looking to at least throw dual breath on the Innocence. Tag team, nothing skilled yet from Y is the TP over bottom for DY. Against Faith Beyond and Tian Ming this time on the Dazzle. See what they take level one. It should be Poison Touch with Faith Beyond in this lane having the Astro in prison. Dual Breath comes out. That's going to land on both these heroes. So just a little harass coming out from DY is over mid, meanwhile. Ori taking a lot of damage. But so is ASD. Overwhelming odds come through. And now the salve is going to be used immediately by Ori. If he gets level 2, wouldn't be surprised to see him get aggressive with an illusory orb. Meanwhile, Tian Ming, he'll also pop a salve, as does the Legion Commander. So salves are plenty. the top lane ego against innocence or ego with innocence against yang and fade fade will throw him from fade as the hoof stomp comes out on both these heroes that'll push back the centaur for a moment but he'll taunt his way with the salve and come right back in over mid once again asd now falling behind ori and this is what we see when ori is on a hero that he is comfortable with we see some uh Mids fall behind. It wasn't really behind. He had a couple of creeps under the tower. That gets him to three as well. It was just Ori hitting three before him. Hope stomp again on the Ego. He's sitting level two with the Bristle back in the Quill Spray. imprisonment on the DY paparazzi he's farming not really as well as he'd like 
I mean, compared to the Bristle, he's fine, as they're both not farming too well. Paparazzi trying to do what he can, but TM Ming's here with the Poison Touch as well as the Shadow Wave. Lucent Beam comes out with an breath. And Liquid Fire on cooldown. There's the Astro Imprisonment. DY pretty far up. Equilibrium gets used as well. DY now on the run as the Lucent Beam comes out. Also TP over the Rubick. So we'll see if they're going to make an aggressive play on the Dazzle. I would say it has to be the Dazzle and not the OD. As the chase is on for Yang. He has a TP. Just making eternal space. And once the snowball gets used, he should be able to just TP out. But again, holds the TP and ends up going down with the quill spray as well as the tag team used. He never is able to make his escape. Ends up falling. And Eon get their first kill of the game. got innocence coming over it's become a try v try with the off lane or the top lane just trying to go after each other bristle against the centaur bristle should do a little bit better with no support in that lane for the side of vici but three heroes here for vici they've got control they've got slow they've got lucent beam as well as the lunar blessing but you'd like to get three onto the luna soon so back the supports away give a little bit of experience over to paparazzi get him to three now or nope that just gets it comes out dual breath is there meanwhile the puck goes all the way back to base they've got the fable as well as the telekinesis faith beyond on the run they've got lucent beam on top of that they get the kill into the od but the target might be the dazzle now the snowball comes across that's gonna hit on the two of these heroes as well as the tag team coming in but innocence putting himself in a little bit of a bad way as the pressure comes out from Vici with a liquid fire to go after the tower and Paparazzi moving forward for a moment, but now needs to back off with a dual breath coming out under the tusk as well as OD. So getting the kill on the OD, this is not something that you'd really have to deal with in the mid lane against uh, the puck, I'd say, normally, but over bottom once again, Innocent's in a little bit of trouble. The snowball comes out of Paparazzi. He's got it. one shot left in him. As he'll go down to Faith Beyond as well as Tian Ming. They end up getting Innocence, but Paparazzi now the return kill. And over top, meanwhile, Ego just chases down the Centaur. So was the OD going down previously in this lane, and now it's Paparazzi. He's no longer for this world. is going down everywhere from both sides. ASD, he's sitting level 5, as is Ori, who's now level 6, actually. He's got the Dream Coil available to him, and Legion Commander, yeah, keeping up in terms of experience, and has the duel ready. Pause comes out from Yang. Just five and a half minutes in here. Jesus. Pings of plenty coming out. So I'm excited to see Ori on this puck a little bit later in the game. He this is one of his top heroes. He's very comfortable on a puck. Becomes a very slippy hero when he starts to pick up the levels as well as the blink dagger. Bottom, Astro Imprisonment. That comes in onto Paparazzi. The Lucid Beam is there with the Poison Touch onto the Luna. They look for the damage with TP over. The Dream Coil comes out on the two of them. They'll get the kill onto the OD. Now they look over TM Ming as they lose the Jakiro. That's to a duel, I believe, but no dual damage coming out. The Jakiro goes down, but they lose the OD as well as the Dazzo in the bottom lane. Legion not rotating in time as the TP came out from Ori. So two kills there for the one of Ehom. Bit of gold coming in. Dream Coil getting used to get a couple of kills here. And just about to hit level 7 is both the Legion as well as the Puck. Ooh, got the Tusk, and now Poison Touch placed on the Fade. Shards will not lock him in. They've also got this Ward here that was just placed. 
I'm sentry on the Rubik. Seven minutes in, Ego. He's going into the Vanguard, but he'll pick up the phase boots first. And Centaur picks himself up that chain man before he picks up. Well, his boots in full. Going after Ego, Stampede comes out. That might have been a disengage with Paparazzi getting down to about half health. That definitely wasn't to engage here for the Centaur. Because he doesn't nearly have the damage to go after Ego by himself. Stack being cleared up by Ego. As Legion still sitting over towards mid with Puck coming over with Dream Coil ready again. Both teams right now just farming away. Under this ward, Fade as well as DY just completely spotted. And this courier not coming over with a sentry. Meanwhile, this sentry just hits this ward. Command echelon. Again, under this vision, Faith Beyond moving forward. The snowball comes out. That's going to be all the way across to Paparazzi. They look for the damage, but the Toad Genesis comes through under the OD. Now the shards aren't going to be in time to get Paparazzi. Dream Coil on a two. Now ASD coming over, looking for the kill on a fade, looking for possibly a duel, but won't find it just yet. And now the duel comes out on a Paparazzi. But they'll get the kill on a Tusk. They'll get the kill on the Luna. That's going to be two here for the side of Ehome. OD getting low. Trying to get away will be DY, but he ends up falling here to ASD. Three kills for Ehome. Seven to six in their favor. And a little bit of a net worth advantage for them as Ori. After throwing the Dream Coil, has to just leave. Again, this is Vici looking to go in uh, on a counterplay, but Ehome having the Legion coming over this time. Uh, but really, before Ori's really even able to be affected. And they just have more than enough damage with the heroes grouped up for VG. The overwhelming odds coming out. And you're not dealing with Stampede. You're not dealing with Yang coming in. That tanky hero that's going to try and frontline a little bit more here for VG. So, Ehome take advantage. They get a couple of kills there. And Faith Beyond surviving. Now he's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. DY moving forward. Dream Coil comes out on the Tian Ming. This Dazzle lifted up thrown down and that's actually away from the dream coil so that ends up snapping and stunning him and now and this is yang using that stampede to just get away from the side of ehome we're now even at seven where he comes over but he doesn't have dream coil for another 43 when your riff comes out lose reward the tp's over that was multiple TPs just shown over mid on the OD as well as, I believe, the Dazzle who came in. So Tian Ming does make the rotation over. OD now without a TP as he sits over bottom. Maybe misplaying their hand a little bit for Ehome. Paparazzi, three Wraith Bands going into the Mask of Madness. We'll take it over to the net worth now, 11 minutes into the game. Over mid, Ori taking a little bit of damage. We see top of the net worth is the Legion Commander, who's sitting here going into the Armlet after the treads. Second of the net worth is Ego over top on the Bristleback, who really hasn't been slowed down too much in terms of farm, except giving up the first blood. And the Vanguard finished off for Yang. Follow that up with Ori. We've seen his items, and now going into the Blink Dagger, not too far away from that. Those are your top three on the net worth is Paparazzi comes in and just uses Eclipse to get the kill over towards top. And I was just talking about how Ego hasn't been slowed down too much. And I take my eye off him for a second with Paparazzi coming through with the Eclipse. So now they'll look after the tier one tower. DY over bottom. He's in a lot of trouble. One more shot comes in from Faith Beyond to get the kill there. Rotation from Yang. Ori coming through. Dream Coil. That's going to be placed onto the OD. Now he's stunned up. He actually breaks the... The leash of the of the dream coil, and they look over at TM Ming. 
Rotation from Ego. Illusory Orb not going to land onto the Dazzle. Ego may be looking to turn it on to Yang as he's hit with the Poison Touch, but he'll taunt his way to freedom. So 9-8 to eight in favor of Vici. As Puck getting low once again, he'll have to use that Illusory Orb jaunt to get far enough away from the Bristleback. He's also got himself a haste and a full bottle. But no Dream Coil for another 14 seconds as he did have that Arcane Rune when he used it. Snowball coming out towards top. Fade, press the attack. Paparazzi coming in. The Lucent Beam comes down. Now in a lot of trouble is going to be Innocence. He'll get run down here by the Luna. They look over at ASD for a moment. They get the kill. First to 10. Goes the way of Viji. Coming around on Yang is going to be Ego as well as Tian Ming coming through. Hook stomp through. There's the waning rift and the dream coil. Now the press attack comes in. But Ego snaps again. The tether breaks. They're just running out of this dream coil again and again and again. Paparazzi gets a double kill. Vici come out at <laughs> ahead in that exchange. And it's now 12 to 8. Three kills in a row for Vici. One over top, two over bottom. So it's not a huge net worth lead by any means, as it's under a thousand for Vici. Still sitting top of the net worth so far as Legion Commander with the armlet finish off going into the Blink Dagger. You've got Blink Dagger finished for Ori. He'll find his way into the Veil, and then Centaur. He's got the Vanguard as well as the Phase Boots. We'll see if it's Blink Dagger next for him. Radiant are scanning. So over top, Yang will pressure. <clears throat> and it will be that blank dagger next. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Ori over bottom as the pressure's coming out from Ehome, but taking that tower gives him a 1,000 net worth lead. It's just Ori here for now. Coming over will be Tian Ming. It's the blink dagger waning right after Luzuri Orb over. He'll get out of harm's way. Innocence now. Just above the tower, possibly looking for a snowball over. The TP's come out over top. ASD, overwhelming odds. That's going to be laid down on two. The hook stomp follows it up. Fade now trying to move his way back. The poison touch hits with the gut stampede. The telekinesis comes through. That's going to be thrown back onto none of these heroes. It actually doesn't land, but he throws him back. And Centaur is able to get away with Ruben. We will have pressed the attack just for a second longer. And they go Midas on Faith Beyond with this OG. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. over top again. Faith Beyond coming in. The tag team is going to be used to try and slow down Yang. They won't get the hit on him, and now Yang and Fate able to disengage with three heroes over top. Meanwhile, over mid, Paparazzi continuing to farm. He's got the Mask of Madness. Should have the Dragon Lance coming in, too, and he'll be going into the BKB next. Puck almost finishing off this veil. There's the Blink Waning Rape. The Loser Orb over the top of Ego. He's just trying to farm away. up that hood. Yang still pressuring over top and is soon to have this uh, blink dagger. So the blink initiation might soon be there for Yang. Aether ends picked up for Fade. There's the Walrus Punch to start this off. They've got the Sharks as well as the overwhelming odds thrown up on them. And Faith Beyond will get the kill in a Fade. They look over at Yang. He's trying to run away, but they've got a lot of heroes here and no stampede to try and escape this. Yep, now he's finally got it. This is a duel coming through as well as the Snowball. He won't be able to get the kill as Sanity's Eclipse comes through but it's just not enough and they will end up getting it but not the dual damage so sanity's thrown meanwhile dazzle dies that's over towards mid so it's a two for one but they don't get the dual damage on the legion commander again still sitting here with just 10 quill spray stolen by the rubik 
How do you like that? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance blink top dagger tower here for ASD, attack. and that death actually slows down Yang's blink dagger. But after all this time and space given away to paparazzi, and sitting top of the net worth by almost uh, a thousand, and going into the BKB. Four heroes here will be over mid with Yang continuing to try and farm for the Blink Dagger. The push will come in over mid to get the tier one. DY gets credit for that one and putting just the Centaur 50 gold away and now has enough for the Blink Dagger and will pick it up. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Smoke coming through here from Eom, Innocence, Tian Ming, as well as ASD. They'll come around. They're actually not going to spot anything. The ward yeah, has vision here on Innocence. So they'll know what, uh, basically the whereabouts of where some of the team is. They'll smoke up the pressure coming in over top. This is a five-man smoke from Vici with these creeps pushing in. They're hoping to see somebody rotate. And, oh, TP coming in. This is a bad choice coming through from the Bristleback. Illusor, Macro Fire, Ice Path all the way down. They'll get the kill. OD, is he going to commit to this? No, he better not. They still have Eclipse here on a Paparazzi. The only thing they used was Macro Pyre. And the Liquid Fire is going to be thrown at the Tier 2 Tower over top as Vici continue to pressure in. Yang gets the kill on the TM. Ming, the Dream Crow is going to be placed down. Innocent in a lot of trouble. The Illusor Orb jaunting to it. Creatures. They'd be unable to get away, but three heroes now dead for Ehome. Vici really finding their stride and starting to pick up a nice chunk of an advantage. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 16 to 10, 4,000 net worth lead here. Blink Dagger as well as the Val going into the Lincoln Sphere for Puck. Paparazzi just almost has that BKB. And Centaur with the Blink Dagger, he saved up 1,800 gold. For the OD though, it's Midas now in the Blink. And Legion Commander going into the BKB of his own Ego. Now Crimson Guard, but there was a lot thrown at Ego. Only included the Macro Pyre in terms of ults here for Vici. Should be a full out buy on Vlad's for Yang. Five heroes bottom for Ehome. Nobody home though for Vici. Tier one's already down and the team is over towards top. Into Roche, Vici go. And never mind. I'll back out. A prize. They pull the ejector, the ejector on that one, and they leave the Roche pit. Innocence and TM Ming coming over towards mid, towards the Roche pit. Ego now into his jungle. Illusory orb over, I believe, catching some vision on the ego. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So in terms of what Ehome need right now, being down 3,000 net worth, they just need a fight in their favor. The BKBs are really going to help out soon here on ASC as a three-man smoke comes in. They'd like to grab a couple of pickoffs here. Look at the BKB on the Legion Commander. Blade Mail coming out next with the, with the Vanguard and the Pipe already on the Bristle. If they can win a fight and go and get the Roche, that puts Ehome ahead for sure. Shards placed down, and actually the host now comes out with the Macro Pyre laid down into the Ice Path. They'll look over the Legion Commander, who will get hit by the Shallow Grave, trying to get away with the Overwhelming Odds coming out. They get the kill on a TM Ming. Now they look over it. He goes growing the quills everywhere. But finally, killed off is going to be a BKB. He's going to be caught by Paparazzi. Now the Eclipse is going to come through. They'll look over at the Bristle back. There's the host now coming in from Yang. They'll have the Ice Path to follow that up. The damage is there. They'll get in front of the Bristle and take him out. Three heroes dead on Eom. They lose nothing on Vici. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Right in the Roche they go. I was talking about what Ehome needed to find themselves coming back. And unfortunately, V 
Avicii are the winners and the benefactors of that victory, which comes ages. Starting to really pull ahead here. Ego TPs over towards me. They've got Tian Ming nearby, but the tier 2 tower is not long for this world with the Mask Man is being used here by Paparazzi and the double damage. He's got Aegis. He's going into the butterfly and Dream Quo comes out. This is over bottom on a base beyond. He's just gone. Ori here with Yang, though. Queen of the OD. This is an off lane OD, remember. And now a Midas for the Dazzle. This is some ultimate greed coming out from Eho. Trying to get those recovery Midas's, but the pressure is just too much from Vici. I don't really know how these Midas's are going to end up working out. They won't have them for long enough as the pressure just comes in with the pushing power of this side of Vici with Liquid Fire, with the Glaives, with the damage that comes through from the Vici side. I don't think the Midas's are ever going to really become effective. The gold that could have been spent elsewhere. What do you do now if you're E-Home? You really want this BKB on the OD. As well as the Legion Commander, but the two of them just unable to farm it up. Beachy are just starting to take advantage of the fact that they have an 8,000 net worth lead. They'll invade the jungle of Ehome and start to starve out Ehome where they're getting their farm and where they're going to feel confident to get their farm. With the pressure coming in and the wards being placed here inside the jungle of Ehome, it's hard for them to feel confident about going into their own jungle. They've been picked off there a couple of times. Meanwhile, Ori gets the kill over on Innocence and you can't even move out in these lanes. So... What's happening is basically Ehome's going to fall behind because the farm is so good and the pushing pressure is so good from Vici, where Ehome can't farm. They can't really go out into these lanes. They can't go into their jungle. There's nowhere for them to really find a spot to farm and really get these next items. Unless they win a team fight, they're just not going to farm for the rest of the game. Lose the tier 3 over mid. That's going to open not only the tier 4s, but the set of racks. Faith Beyond comes into the blink, into the host top. That's going to land on the two of these heroes. The Illusory Orb, as well as the Waiting Rift. That's actually with a blink dagger. They've got the signs. That's going to come through. The Lucent Beam, as well as the Eclipse. Fox, the home's world. But the Snowball save comes through from Tusk. They'll get the kill on a Faith Beyond. They also kill off ASD. Now the nice Ice Path on a 2. They look over at Ego. Hit with a shallow grave once more. These grips have been a lot better than game one. Coming in from TM Ming instead of Innocence this time. But the chase is on. Illusory Orb over from Ori to get the kill on the Ego. And GG like that is called by Ehome. Game one, game two, both going to VG. And now they're looking for the sweep 3-0. Coming into the next one. Just one game away. One game away, that makes it 25. A quarter of a century here. The quarter of the century mark uh, here for Vici with 25 straight DPL victories. And it looked like, for a moment, it looked like such a good draft from Ehom. They were going to throw the OD mid, they would have the Bristle over in the safe lane, they'd pick another off laner, you know, maybe get a Tide Hunter or something. But then they went with the Legion Commander through the Legion mid. OD off lane, and then things starting from the seams started to rip apart, and they just never really found their groove. Vici continued to pressure that cutoff where they were able to farm for the side of Ehome, going past the river, continuing to farm inside Ehome's jungle, and starving them out until they had a good enough lead, taking the fights, winning the fights, getting themselves the Aegis, and using the pressure from the damage that they do to these towers to these objectives to starve out Ehome and win the game. So it's it's a 2 nothing lead here for the side of Vici. 6-2 and 12 for Paparazzi. 7-0 and 11 for Ori. Never dying. And uh, absolutely perfect game from him. Then you take a look at the graph. It was close. 
until about the 15 16 minute mark all into the favor of vici and they are now one game away from qualifying for mdl macau over in galaxy macau this february it's february 20th to the 24th actually so we'll be back with that third game coming up next we'll see if vici can hit the 26 mark on their uh games in a row in dpl competition i'll be back with that in a moment i'm your caster bcop at bcop92 on twitter Follow me to know when I'm casting on both Twitch and Twitter. I cast basically all the time. I'll be taking the rest of the year off after this. Get a little bit of rest and uh, have some fun coming into the new year. And then hopefully we'll start it off with some Chinese qualifiers for MDL Macau. Hopefully. We'll be back with Game 3 in just a moment. Love you guys for joining me. Appreciate it immensely. It's been a great year. One possible game could be it. But we could possibly have three more to go in this 2018 season here for the Chinese region. We'll be back in a moment. See you soon.